Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm going to be hooking up my battery here and I'm going to be connecting both of my batteries. So I got this one here and then one that's already installed on my bike. And I'm going to use a battery blender and I'm going to connect it. So I should have all the pieces that I need. So this is the unit power pack. I bought this one. I think it was like 400, 450 bucks worth. 24 amps here, 48 volt. And I don't know. I might keep it here. I might not. I might buy a rack on the back of my bike and then mount it onto there. But I just have it set right here right now. But I'll probably change that up in the future. Then I have this battery blender. This one is, uh, looks like um, Max 50A, 50 amps. So I have, this is the XT90. Uh, the one I originally ordered was XT60, but they gave me XT90. And then the one coming off the, the actual battery itself is an XT60. I can't tell if these are male ends. I think these are male ends. And the female ends look like this. So we got two female ends. And then one male end on the bottom here. I believe that's how it goes. I can't really remember. But <clears throat> we're going to connect the batteries together. Then I got the small little extender. So I need to open up my bike so I can actually get the controller out. So I'm going to wire it from right here all the way down to here. And there is a little hole on the side there. So let's go ahead and just connect everything. I literally just got this in the mail the little adapters. So I got these little adapters, I should, should probably show those. So it'll take an XT90N and put it into XT60. So that should come in handy. So I can put all those together here. So my controller is going to be on the bottom here. <clears throat> and I need to open this up. We got this little tool here. But this should be maybe easy to get off. We'll see. So let's just open this up and get all four of these bolts out. Hopefully this is easy to come off. All right, now nah, this is coming out really easy here. I just had to switch the bit. Oh, that one. Oh, it's coming off already. So I got these two on the bottom. And this will reveal the controller. So. I'm going to buy a different controller in the future, so I think I'm going to get something in the back for my battery. And then I think I'm going to get a, a controller that unlocks the speed. So this bike should be able to get up to 41 miles per hour, maybe a little bit less, but somewhere around that range. So here's the controller. You can see it's kind of like duct taped in here and such. All right. So what I need to do is remove this part. It looks like this is actually XT90 on here. So I'm good at something about the adapters. So one of this side. Oh, it looks like I'm going to get a bunch of gunk on my fingers if I do this. I think I'm going to get my vinyl gloves on. We'll see. Actually, so this one's going to the controller and this one is going to my battery. So what I want to do is unplug this bad boy. So is my bike turned off? Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and just unplug this. Boom. All right. Let's get a different view here. Now I'm going to go over and get this. I don't know where I'm going to put this. So I'll have to figure out where I want to put this in the future. Because it might not fit in there. So be luck, I don't have so much room. I can just kind of do a demonstration of how everything's going to hook up and then just go from there. Also, I got to run this cable in there somewhere, unless I can fit both of them right here. Oh, which I can. That wouldn't be a bad idea. So, I'll do that. So, this end is going to go into the controller. This is going to connect. Perfect. And then I'll need my two adapters. Actually, one, I only need one adapter. Because this one is going to go directly to my battery. Just like this. Boom. That's connected. And then the other one is going to go to my other battery. 
So, let's connect one of these adapters. Oh boy, I need the other end. So I just got a pack that has multiple ends on them here. So, male to female end here. Alright, connect this. That's not sliding in. Come on, slide in. There we go. And this end in here. And I'll come back here and make everything look nice. I just wanted to hook everything up right now. And then obviously the last bit would be to plug it in right there. If I go up a little bit more, this would be my last one to plug in. So I gotta figure out how I wanna do this. Because it looks really nasty. Got all this stuff in here. I don't know if I can <laughs> find a way to put all this in here or not. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Um, might have to put that to the side or above it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Obviously this cable is going to have to come out over here. I think I'm going to, like, um, I'm going to wrap it in, uh, some sort of tape, maybe like electrical tape, so it's all black in case it gets wet or something like that. So we'll see, I'll have to figure it out and get everything together. And then I'll have to do a test ride later tomorrow. So I don't know where I'm gonna put this. It doesn't seem like it fits really well. There's a huge bar right there. Maybe you could put it over here. If I cut the duct tape right here, I might be able to move around a little bit more. So, got some electrical tape. Ah, let's just cut this. No, it'll give me a little bit more range here to move this around. So I can keep this one on this side. Ooh, okay, that fits in quite a bit further than I was thinking now. And then this one's got a over there. All right, and someone keeps texting me. Oh, I'm involved in a huge chat over there. Okay, this is fitting in. A little crunched. Definitely would work right there. Otherwise, I could try squeezing it in right here. Now, I've seen some people just keep it on the outside and then duct tape everything in there, but would it fit over here? Looks like everything just about fits right there at least. And then I should be able to get this. It's really tight in there. But I, I will be able to eventually squeeze it in there, given the right area. And I definitely want to make that more waterproof too. I don't know how waterproof this stuff is when it comes just like this. So we'll see. But let's just hook this up real quick and just see if uh, we get any results. So I'm going to hook this up right here. Okay, so my batteries are now connected. I got the bottom one. And then the top one is connected. If anything happens, I'm going to have to push my bike outside in case something does. Turn on my battery here. Turn it on. See what kind of results. I got four batteries on here. What if I turn off this battery? Does it drop down? Boom. So I don't know. It says I got four batteries. I guess I'll have to try that out tomorrow. Is this getting hot at all? No, it's cold. So I should be good to go. So this battery is blending and merging with the bottom battery. Now I went for a pretty sizable bike ride and I think that battery got down to at least like a 20% use before I got done. It was one bar. So yeah, this is going to be fun to try this out when it gets a little bit warmer. So I got this going and I'm just going to put on that back plate and I'll make this look a little bit nicer. I'll squeeze it in there and then wrap it around and then both my batteries should be blended together. So yeah, everything ended up working well there and I should be getting a pretty good range.
So I'm not going to use it tonight or test it out tonight just because uh, it's like 20 degrees. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, let's see if I can test this battery over here. Usually I can test it. Maybe because it's on. So I'll, I'll switch it to see if that turns on or not. There we go. I got three bars on that. And this is showing... It's not going to be an accurate representation because... Uh, I mean, you got more than what's required on there now, all of a sudden. So this one's showing three bars and the other one was at maybe like 20%. That's showing four bars on there. So I guess the only way to really know if it's working well or not is just to do a range test. See how far you can go. So yeah, I got both of those blended now. Pretty easy, I just gotta make sure everything is working. You know, sometimes you go for a bike ride and then, uh, I don't know, you can have issues when you're out maybe like 10 to 50 miles away. I've seen some crazy things where uh, the bike ends up like, the battery is, starts on fire. So gotta be careful with all that stuff. So if something happens, there is potential for fire and overcharging. So I'll probably actually charge this battery up, both the batteries uh, tonight, charge them separately, maybe even disconnect it. And for the first time, just, you know, disconnect them and charge them up. I got my two chargers over here. This is for the pack power one. And this is one that came with the bike. So that's pretty cool. I got this all set up. Decided to try it out. But I'll try it out in the next video whenever I upload and get some time to do this. But hopefully this was interesting and helped some of you guys out. If you did, leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on Your Six Adventures.